how many people die in Terrifier 2? Let's just say, don't go with the upset stuff. <laughs> The movie starts off with Sienna and her brother, who's like obsessed about serial killers and wants to dress up as Art the Clown for Halloween, man. That's in bad taste. That's like you going as like a school shooter. She's making her own costume, like a badass version of Xena Warrior Princess, or Sexy Angel Meets Princess Leia that her dad actually created for her. The dad passed away the year prior, and I guess I messed up this boy so much he's googling serial killers, and if we know anything about Terrifier 1, it ended up that he was coming back to life inside of a morgue. Just like Jason did in Friday the 13th Part 4. They brought him to the morgue, he woke up, and killed the morgue guy. And he, look, because he shot himself in the head, he's even touching the back of it. So you're like, oh yeah, this guy's definitely some sort of supernatural. Because, you know, regular people need the back of their head. And this guy's still on the phone with 911. Hey man, I think as long as you call, they show up anyway. And they even said, yeah, press one or two, dude, let us know. And if you didn't see part one, now you know, dude, because Art's got to tag his name whenever he kills somebody. And this is not to put dramatically, but oh, that would have been the kill in any other horror movie but he proceeds to take the guy's eye out put it inside his eye isn't that like jeepers creepers like all right i need a new eye man i'll take yours he then walks out with the garbage bag full of stuff he usually used that garbage bag all movie like hey man my clothes are ruined i got blood and guts all over him takes off his outfit washes it and then kills the guy just sitting there we, we run into his new little girl accomplice. You're like, what is this? Like a, a demon that sort of helps him out? He sort of just meet her for the first time right here. Because look at that. She waves like, hey, how's it going? He's like, uh, all right, I guess so. Now Art the Clown sort of has like dream powers because Sienna goes to sleep and then has like a Freddy Krueger sort of dream. Like Art has his own breakfast cereal. Oh, don't eat that kid. The razor blades and all that. I don't know if you die in a dream, do you die in real life? They sort of made it war weird because that's Freddy Krueger rules, but I'm not sure about art rules. There's a couple of adults there and she's actually dreaming. She's like in a kid costume too with like her Wendy's like uh, <laughs> pigtails floating up. Then we get the Art the Clown intro by the guitar like country lady and they're playing it up like it's a kid show and then it's like, oh crap, it's this guy. And Art the Clown did what I thought he might do. Like, all right, he set the guitar girl on fire, but she continued to burn for a long time and not die. But he shot up the studio audience. I was like, come on, man, you're using like a Tommy gun. Slashers don't use guns, but I guess he does. That kid looks like a straight deadite from Evil Dead. Who dreams count, but it, I don't know if they died, but it seemed like real life because when she woke up, her angel wings were on fire. She like reflected the fire with the sword, so the sword's like a bit magical. She's trying to like talk to her friends at high school about it. And of course they're like, hey, you're crazy. Hey, did you hear about this girl with no face who actually attacked <laughs> like a TV personality? She's actually in a post credit scene, but this is nice slasher stuff. Get to know the friends before they get killed off. Oh, perfect disguise. Actually, when he's trying on the glasses, those are like the funniest parts of the movie for me. And he's just legit really stalking her and creeping her the fuck out. He legit blends into a Halloween store or like a Halloween haunt and everything. He just looks like another guy. So he runs into that cashier. Actually, sort of, the guy threatens him. Hey, man, get out of here before I fuck you up. And Art's like, all right, I'm closing down the store. And then hatch it in your head. Don't answer that door because actually, I don't know, is Art actually just going door to door like he's Michael Myers or something like that? Or he's actually like, hey, I'm going to target Sienna and all her friends. Jonathan was going to dress up as him, but I guess she figured, you know, a bunch of other weirdos are actually going to dress up as that guy. And she even questioned him like, hey, aren't you that guy from the costume shop? 
And she doesn't give him the candy, so you're like, oh man, maybe that's why she got the most brutal death out of everybody. Maybe if she just gave the candy, he would have left her alone. And I mean, it's brutal. It's the most brutal death I've ever seen in a theater in my life, man. It's like, oh my god. He tortured her like drug cartels with doctors torture people. It's brutal. You probably don't ha ever have to see that scene ever again. I mean, the mom came home and saw her, but I don't know if she lived or died. I mean, Art has the candy bowl as the head, <laughs> and that's a real head. They think it's a prop. That's pretty gross and funny at the same time. But you're like, well, I don't know, man. Decapitated heads also are look the same. I can't tell if that's the mom or the daughter. Whatever. Sienna finally wears her like hot costume and goes to a Halloween party with her friend. Her other friend didn't make it because she's already dead. They were texting her and everything. Her friend slips her some molly, so she's having a good time and dancing. You're like, oh man, how are you gonna fight Art the Clown when your defenses are that low? But man, Art the Clown goes and visits the mom while she's away, and he shoots her in the face and it falls off brutal. Even gunshots are more brutal in this movie. Art kidnaps Jordan, uses his phone to text her like, hey, come and save me. So, you know, she goes to this abandoned carnival with her friend. Just when you thought the brutal kills were going to be done with? No, we get the most brutal dick kill I've ever seen. And I don't need to see that ever again. Nope. I mean, his dick is gone, and maybe he lived through that. Or you could, you, you should die. You're, you're dead without your dick. After dragging her out of the car, she runs all through this carnival. It's like a haunted house theme, but it's closed on Halloween. I don't get it. And she gets chased down and then kill bludgeon with like a... He bat with knives and stuff, it, but he also threw acid at her face and stuff, like brutal kill as well. Yeah, like nobody gets hit once and dies in this movie. No, you gotta get tortured. <laughs> like he, she whips Sienna. This is like a Passion of the Christ level torture. Like, this third act seems to be going on forever. Like, her and the brother are running around room to room. Art actually throws her inside, like, a, a water chamber. I think she drowns in it, but the magical sword brings her back to life. The sword given to her by her daddy actually gives her the power to become this character. Stops getting beat up for 30 minutes. <laughs> Finally, I was waiting for this, for her to become, like, Ash Williams and actually fight the evil. She got knocked out and the brother got knocked out a couple of times she uses the whip on him a bit which was very cool like yes finally kick his ass and then finally gets to stab him with the sword and chops his head off a little demon girl comes and picks off the severed head and I'm like, dude, Sienna, don't let her get away. Chop her head off too. Oh man. Well, I guess he's going to find a new body and that's Terrifier 3. Sienna and Jonathan make it out alive and then the credits roll. But what? There's a post credit scene like it's a goddamn Marvel movie? Awesome. So we go to the insane asylum, the psych ward, where the survivor of the very first movie, Victoria, without a face, is giving birth to... Oh my god, <laughs> that's Art the Clown Head, and she's hysterically laughing. Best way to sort of end a slasher movie, and Art's already resurrected for part three. Ready to go. <laughs> 